We begin this afternoon with weather and talking about that snow that we've been seeing come down today here with Chief Meteorologist George Lessons. And George, let's talk about this. So it's still continuing to snow outside in parts, but really we're, our eyes are on this weekend. Yes, indeed. But the snow is not over yet this afternoon. I'm very pleased with how the Euro model handled this starting from last to Thursday up through the present time. It has nailed the path where the snow has been falling, where we have seen anywhere between one and four inches so far. Pick out your community. A lot of these reports were taken at 7 o'clock this morning by citizen scientists, so there has been a lot more snow. It was snowing when you woke up this morning. Winter weather advisories have been extended now until 7 o'clock for tomorrow morning for Muskegon, Montcalm, Ottawa, Kent, Nyonia, and to the north until 10 a.m. tomorrow for Oceana, Nuego, and Macosta as the snow continues to fall. So we have not changed our winter weather impacts. Ice buildup is not expected. In fact, uh, our power outages, according to the consumer energy outage map, are less than an ordinary day, but we do have some winds this evening. There's that rain snow line that lined up very well. This was all the way from last of Thursday. That rain snow line basically from Benton Harbor to Saginaw. There has been a a little bit of light rain to the south and east, and we did get a, bit, a little bit of a lull for a couple of hours, but the parent storm is still yet to come overhead, and the winds will pick up later tonight, and the snow will continue to fall. We may see as much snow tonight as we did during the day today. So we have those winter weather advisories from basically I-96 north, where the more uh, significant impacts are back to our west. So the winter weather severity impacts if it load will be in the minor to moderate category later on this evening. Outside temperatures are a little bit above freezing, so some of the snow has been melting and compacting as it's fallen but we will continue to see more snow overnight tonight. A look at what is ahead for later on this week. We may see significant amounts of snow starting Friday. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Chief Meteorologist George Lessons outside on the weather deck. And George, is it still snowing outside there on the deck? Uh, very, very little, okay. Elena. Uh, there might even be a couple of raindrops mixed in, oh no. but it's just kind of snow. And it's heavy, wet snow. The kind you could make snowballs with Archer, right? Yeah, that would be great, but <laughs> driving in it, not so much fun. Yeah, it has been a greasy day today. Hopefully you have uh, experienced uh, safe travels here today because there have been a number of slide offs and accidents because of the greasy roads. 13 weather ball remains blinking bright. We have uh, more snow and even a little bit of wind in sight overnight, and it's also green. No change to the uh, slightly above freezing temperatures foreseen. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. As far as the snow, yeah, it was snowing before you got up this morning. Well, at least before most folks got up this morning. And then we had a little bit of a lull as expected for an hour or two. And then the snow came back into the weather picture. And in some cases, it is changed over to a little bit of light rain, like from the Snug Harbor Tower Camp. Very pleased with the European model from last Wednesday, where it kept this rain snow line right about in here. That's the way it is ending up right now. You saw that brief lull in the precipitation, but it's moved back in. We've got several hours of snow yet. We're going to be in this area all the way back down into portions of Illinois. This is just going to kind of move to the northeast over the next several hours. The winds will pick up out of the north, so perhaps just as much much snow this evening and overnight that we saw during the day today. There's the center of the system right on there. Moving on out, we transition to just some flurries tomorrow before it comes to an end. Next weather system is a little system snow that comes in late Wednesday night and on Thursday, maybe an inch or two with that. But this is the storm we're watching for the weekend. That was round two, by the way. This is round three that we talked about. Uh, this one is going to be even stronger than the one that comes through even further south, so it is going to be all snow for West Michigan during the afternoon and evening on Friday. We'll see uh, the snow starting to come down very heavy and look at that storm coming right up over the Lansing area. If the models are correct and they were this last time, a lot of wind driven snow Friday night through Saturday morning. And then the cold air starts to pour on in. That means lots of lake effect starting on Sunday and that's going to last not only for Monday, but for most of next week following storm looks like it's going to stay to our south, but we'll have enough lake effect snow to deal with. As far as our snow overnight, we're looking at maybe an inch or two, and this was also through Thursday, another inch or so. On top of that, here comes the system. This is by Friday afternoon. This is not the entire system. 
Watch what happens with that system coming through overnight. Maybe 10 to 12 inches just on Friday afternoon into Saturday, and then more lake effect snow on top of that. I hope we don't see 21 inches between now and next Monday, but certainly shows the potential. Cold air entrenching much of the country from January 15th through the 19th. In terms of precipitation, storm systems look like they're going to relax a little bit by that five day period. Tonight, winter weather advisory remains in effect for Holland northward, low in mid 30s. It'll become windier later on out of the north. Winter weather advisory north at or below freezing, so it will continue to be rather challenging for travel. Here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we have that winter weather advisory overnight, and also Ionia with overnight lows right around 32. 13 on your side forecast. <coughs> So we got that colorful 10 day again. The highest impact bars are for Friday and Saturday with the strong wind and lots of snow. Not quite so much on, on Sunday and then at least next week, even though it is cold, our travel impacts will be a little bit better, but still lots of accumulating lake effect snow. When he got up this morning, there was snow already on the ground continued throughout the day. We did get a bit, bit of a brief break. But the snow is back and in some cases it's a little bit of rain. 13 weather ball is blinking bright for more of the snow and rain changing to snow later on tonight. And it's also green. No change to the slightly above freezing 30s foreseen. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. Still going to give a red paw for your evening walk. Don't be a hero hero. Uh, yeah, we've got a little bit of snow and even in the morning when temperatures are closer to freezing, I did put out the conditional red paw just in case there are a few slick spots here and there. So enjoy your walk, get in and out as quickly as you can. Uh, the rain and snow. It's mainly the so, so the rain is off to the south and east of Grand Rapids. We had a brief change over here just for a couple of minutes, but it's back to snow now, and this is going to be a long haul because the snow goes all the way back down into Illinois. And this whole area is just going to kind of move up over lower Michigan as that storm system departs off to the northeast. Storm is coming up just about where it was forecast all the way from last Thursday. There's the, la the rain snow line right now, and all snow by later on tonight. And you'll wake up to just some snow showers coming in off of Lake Michigan. Should be a much better travel day here tomorrow. Thursday, we got a little system snow coming on through. That'll be late Wednesday night through Thursday. Maybe an inch or two with that, but the bigger storm that we're tracking is coming up on Friday. This is Friday morning at 7 a.m. This is Friday evening at 7 p.m. A lot of wind, a lot of snow, and it's going to get really windy and snowy for Saturday, uh, Friday night through Saturday morning, and that's really going to bring in the uh, very cold Arctic air. So lake effect snow on Sunday with additional accumulation, and this is what you're going to see most of next week. Lots of lake effect snow. It's going to be that cold. Snowfall the rest of the night into Wednesday, maybe three plus inches, maybe another inch to two inches for Wednesday night through Thursday. And then here comes the snow. This is by Friday evening, a total of seven on the ground. By Saturday evening, a total of 16 on the ground. And by Monday, there could be up to 20 inches of snow across the area. Some of that will compact, but you can see the potential of how much snow we could get. High chances will stay cold for that seven day period starting on January 17th through the 23rd, but at least the system snows are going to be moving out, but we're going to see lake effect snow with that. So even though we have high chances for less snow, it will be less system snow. Windy with snow overnight. Winter weather advisories from Holland northward around freezing north, mid 30s south. Northern zones around or below freezing. It'll be breezy here with a north wind kicking in with that winter weather advisory. Additional accumulation there and some lighter accumulation south. Overnight lows right around freezing. 13 on your side forecast. <coughs> So a lower impact on Wednesday, slightly higher with that system snow Thursday. The highest impact there on Friday and Saturday in the red color because of the wind and snow. Lake effect snow on Sunday, still some travel issues. Not quite as many travel issues Monday and Tuesday, ramping up again next Wednesday and Thursday. Look at the highs, Elena, after Saturday. They may only be in the teens for a while. That's not very high for highs, that's for sure. <laughs> no, very cold weather coming. You, you know, I think we complained too much the past few weeks weeks about there not being snow because we're getting it all now at once. <laughs> yeah, and now it's going to be complaining because we're now turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we will can't be happy in this winter. <laughs> Thanks so much, George.
Chief Meteorologist George Lessons outside on the weather deck tonight. And George, we've been talking about wanting snow for so long and well, there it is. <laughs> yeah, even if it's a sloppy wet, yeah. I don't like to drive on kind of snow. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's great to make uh, snowballs and maybe we'll have a snowball fight later. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'll think about that not driving. Enough. You'll be gone by the time I start throwing <laughs> snow. I just know it. Uh, yeah, it has been a greasy day out on the area roads and that's not going to change tonight because we have more snow in sight. That's why the 13 weather ball is blinking bright. It's also green. No change to the low and mid 30s foreseen on your Wednesday. The 13 on your side weather ball sponsored by La Fontaine Ford Grand Rapids. And today's temperatures were above freezing in the low and mid 30s. In fact, 38 was warm enough in Kalamazoo Battle Creek down to the south where it changed over to rain for a brief bit. Another warmer than average day came within one degree of our forecast high of 35. We've uh, been in our target range eight days in a row now. Hey, get your cameras out. I'll give you a half a second. We'd love to have you share your photos and short videos, horizontal please, of the snow and how much snow you've had. Also helps if you put a ruler in the ground to help us uh, figure that out. If you can't scan that and get the QR code, you can text the word storm to 616-559. 1310 and we'll put the best pictures on the air. It also updates our database with how much snow we've had. Uh, we've had about one to four inches of snow as of about 7 a.m. More reports coming in later on. There's the back edge of the rain snow line right now matching up very nicely with the models all throughout the last several days. Low pressure system is up over southern lower Michigan now heading northeast. Winds are going to turn around to the north and we're going to hang on to the snow for quite some time. But there's the rain snow line now, but the snow will start to wind down towards daybreak tomorrow when it transitions to a little bit of lake effect snow, but it's just flurry kind of activity. We may see as much snow tonight as we did during the day today. This is a little minor system coming through. That's round two for Wednesday night and Thursday. This might put down an inch or two of snow and then it'll be done in the afternoon. That's a quick hitter. Uh, the next one has us concerned because this one is going to turn into a rock star. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that was 7 a.m. Friday. This is 7 p.m. Friday. This is moderate to heavy snow all night long Friday night into Saturday morning. There could be an inch of snow per hour during that 12 hour period. Yes, you heard me right. And then it transitions to lake effect snow later in the day, Saturday and Sunday into Monday as well with some minor accumulations compared to what we're going to get on Friday night. In terms of snowfall overnight and during the morning tomorrow, we could see another one to as much as four inches of snow falling, but some of that will be melting, of course. Another one to an inch and a half on Thursday as that quick hitting system moves through. And then we will see more snow on top of there. Keep in mind, we already had, already had about five inches of snow. So by Saturday night, five plus 12 is 17. Yes, uh, Friday night and Saturday not going to be nice and we'll also see some lake effect snow with a couple of inches, if not more downwind of Lake Michigan on Sunday and Monday as well. Prepare for the long haul for lots of snow. Still tomorrow breezy with lake effect snow later on in the day. Mid 30s about where you were for highs today. Up north, the winter weather advisory scheduled to expire around 10 a.m. Low in mid 30s here. That's a degree or two within what you were today. And the winter weather advisory is scheduled to expire here in Grand Rapids at 7 a.m. Highs tomorrow back up into the mid 30s around 34 to 36. 13 on your side forecast. So a very colorful 10 day forecast with the highest impacts Friday and Saturday. Uh, still some impacts, some moderate impacts on Sunday and then not quite so much next week. But look what happens to the temperatures after the next couple of days. They drop out of the 30s into the 20s Saturday and remain in the teens for highs Sunday through Tuesday and only slightly better Wednesday through the following Friday.